10 Historic Sites in Ghana You Should Visit Once in Your Lifetime Do you know that Ghana has an incredible variety of places and structures that will blow your mind? From everyday activities, like eating at a local chop bar, to specially designed recreational experiences, like camping at Safari Valley, Ghana has an incredible variety of things to see, do, and discover. Ghana, located along the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Guinea, is known around the world for its distinct cultures, particularly the Kente. During the transatlantic slave trade, Ghana also played an important role. Some of these historic monuments and relics have been well preserved by the Ghanaian government. There will be no historic sites in Ghana for us to visit if this does not happen. Here are 10 historic sites in Ghana you should visit once in your lifetime. Comment on this video to let us know what you think. Ten, Lake Volta. This lake is the largest man-made lake in the world. The location is stunning and a must-see for anyone visiting Ghana. The lake was formed when the Akosombo Dam was built across the Volta River. It also covers 3.6% of Ghana's land area. Dodi Island can be visited while visiting the area. People can either fish in certain areas of the lake or take a trip to the dam. Exotic and luxurious hotels have been built near the lake to house tourists who want to spend quality time by the natural retreat. 9. Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park Because of the great history of Ghana's first president, this park is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. It is dedicated to Ghanaian President Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Don Arthur designed the mausoleum, which houses the bodies of Kwame Nkrumah and his wife Bafia Nkrumah. The mausoleum is shaped like an upside-down sword, which is a symbol of peace in the local culture. The design was created with great Italian marble and a black star at the apex to represent unity. It is a popular tourist destination that attracts visitors from all over the world. 8. Cape Coast Castle This facility was built by the Swedes in the 15th century to facilitate gold and timber trades. However, it was later used as a slave-holding facility before being shipped to America. In the 1920s, the British Public Works Department began restoration work on the castle. Following Ghana's independence in 1957, the Ghana Museums and Monuments Board assumed responsibility for the building. The structure is now a museum that houses slave-related artifacts and documents. The rusted cannons on the walls paint a vivid picture of the facility's fortification. This is one of Ghana's historic sites that demonstrates how much Africa has endured. 7. Larabanga Mosque This is Ghana's oldest mosque, as well as one of the oldest in West Africa, and has been dubbed the Mecca of West Africa. The Larabanga Mosque is a Sudanese architectural-style mosque located in the village of Larabanga. It was built in 1421 and was originally made of mud, reed, and clay, as that was the popular building material at the time. The mosque houses an old Quran, which the locals believe was given to Yidan Barima Brahma, the Imam at the time, as a gift from heaven in 1650 as a result of his prayers. 6. Wolu Slave Defense Wall Humans have an innate survival instinct. The Gwolu Slave Defense Wall is one of the historic sites in Ghana that demonstrate how far humans will go to survive. Walu is a small town in the Upper West Region's Sisala West District. The Gwolu Wall was built in the 19th century. It was built by Gwolu Koro Limen with the primary goal of defending the people from slave raiders. The majority of these walls have been destroyed by environmental factors. The only remaining wall is in the border town of Gwolu. Other important tourist attractions in Gwolu include a traditional bone-setting clinic and a crocodile pond. 
There is also the tomb of former President Hila Lehman, 1979-1981. Five, Salaga Slave Market Salaga is derived from the Dogomba word Solji, which means to get used to a place. The Salaga Market was a vital trading route that connected the northern and southern Sahel. Its location in the East Gonja district makes it an important agricultural trading route. During the transatlantic slave trade, however, it also served as a route for transporting slaves to the coast for further exportation. In 1892, a series of events precipitated civil war. As a result, the population in this area has been decimated. If you're coming from Kumasi, you'll need to take a ferry through Yeji to get to the Salaga slave market. Because of the difficult terrain, the Salaga slave market is one of Ghana's least visited historic sites. Core. Holy Trinity Cathedral. The British government provided funding for this cathedral. The Holy Trinity Cathedral is part of the Accra Anglican Diocese. This historic structure was completed in 1894, but only became a cathedral in 1909. The rectangular bell tower is the most notable feature of this fortress-like structure. The church is not only a place of worship, but it is also one of Ghana's historic sites that tourists want to see. The tranquility of the residents within the walls provides a respite from the bustling city noise. 3. Forts and Castles, Volta, Greater Accra, Central and Western Region This is Ghana's second UNESCO World Heritage Site. Between the 15th and 18th centuries, fortified trading posts were built. These magnificent structures stretch for about 500 kilometers sandwiched between the coasts of Bayin in the west and Kita in the east. Traders from Denmark, Britain, Germany, Holland, Portugal, Spain, and Sweden were among the fort's occupants over the century. As a result, they played a significant role in the gold and slave trades. The forts in Ghana are better preserved than those in neighboring countries. This monument was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979. 2. The Traditional Buildings of the Ashanti Kingdom The Ashanti Kingdom was a formidable force in the 18th century and continues to exert influence in Ghana to this day. Because of their militaristic nature, they were able to control large areas with significant gold deposits. They ruled a large portion of modern-day Ghana prior to the arrival of Europeans in 1806. The Ashanti Kingdom built 13 houses on this historic site. During the European reign, a large number of Ashanti structures were destroyed. However, the remaining structures have become cultural icons. They were designated as one of Ghana's two UNESCO World Heritage Sites in 1980. The walls of these structures are made of clay or mud and the roofs are made of woven palm branches. They have a geometrical design with stylized animal emblems on them. 1. Jamestown Lighthouse Jamestown is one of Ghana's two oldest historic sites, in Accra precisely. Jamestown had communities as early as the 17th century. It had already undergone significant development by the end of the 19th century. Jamestown is still useful today as a great fishing port. The original structure was built by the British as early as 1871. However, the current structure was built in the 1930s. The lighthouse in Jamestown stands 28 meters tall. From the summit, you can see the Usha Fort, the Bukom District, and the James Fort from above. Jamestown is now a popular tourist destination and one of Ghana's most important historical sites. These are just a few of Ghana's many beautiful and captivating historic sites that you should make time to visit at least once in your life. Thank you for watching to the end. To help us grow, please like this video and subscribe to our channel.